I know your sis ass, you ain't gonna listen to it if I put it on your Facebook. But anyway, so people don't, uh, don't know what I'm talking about. Crazy Watson woke up early this morning to come on for me all uh, a bitch ass nigger. And I'm like, no, nah, bitch, you a bitch. And I'll finish similar short voice clip. I know he wasn't gonna listen to it because the shit hurt his fucking feelings when I be talking to him like this. But uh, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a short video. Crazy, let me tell you something. You a fucking fag, bitch. I wouldn't even bother you this morning. You come up here to call me. I forgot to you said I was. But yeah, you a bitch ass nigga, crazy. You a dick sucker and you a pussy. And you a fucking faggot too. I know why you mad because of what I said yesterday, bitch. Like I said, you a stupid ass punk motherfucker. A dick sucking ass bitch. You Jimmy's bitch. And you came at me for no reason, bitch. Me and you ain't had no motherfucking beef. Jimmy sis ass told you to uh, come at me and you came at me, bitch. And you got roasted, ho. You a bitch, bro. That's some whole ass shit you did. You a whole ass nigger. And um, you deserve to be in the position you in right now. You got Jimmy around here. Jimmy around here telling you who you can and can't be cool with. Why Jimmy cool with Monty Woodgrain. That's why Jimmy like, hey Monty, I hate you Monty. Wink, wink. I, you're a piece of shit, Monty. I don't like Monty. I think Monty's a rat bastard. Wink, wink. But I love the way he got you fired. Now, Jimmy and Monty is cool right now. Jimmy and Monty cool. Jimmy is cool with your enemy. Your Monty unzipped his pants right now and pot him in arm. In arm. Um, goddamn. Release his little penis. Jimmy will suck the AIDS out of it. Jimmy would suck the AIDS and semen out of uh, Monty's dick. He sure would. Jimmy's still mad that him and Monty ain't friends. Jimmy blamed me for not for him and Monty not being friends. But fuck Jimmy and Monty, cause I'm gonna tell you something. Monty ain't never forgot when you cooked this fucking fat ass wife. He said that. And like that video I made yesterday, just remind Monty how the only fucking decent job he ever got in life, Jimmy got his punk ass fired from that fucking job. The only good job Monty ever had, <laughs> Jimmy got him fired. And then the other semi-good job, the garbage truck, Jimmy and Beasley got him fired from that. So now Jimmy and Monty, he ain't gonna never forget that shit. He just using you for right now, for what he can. And Jimmy using you crazy. Like I say, all y'all bitch ass niggas go be friends together. I don't give a fuck. Jimmy ain't talking about shit. Jimmy called nigga three in the morning and talk about nothing. Talk about who who you guessing who this person is. Trying always call you in the morning trying to guess what who what troll is what. Yeah, I know who this troll is. Say, Jimmy, you woke me up at 4 30 in the morning for that. He can wake your he can wake your sis ass up at 4 in the morning for that. He can wake your sis ass up. Like I say, crazy, you a bitch, and as far as you beat my ass, nigga, that shit ain't gonna happen. I'll beat your young ass. I'll sleep your ass, crazy. You a bitch. I slap, I slap the slob out your fucking mouth. Fuck slapping the taste. I slap the slob out your fucking mouth. And bitch, I didn't run from no motherfucking Florida hoe. I was down in Florida working. The job was over, so I came back home. Bitch, I had a bitch. I was married. I'm gonna hang around Florida for three more extra weeks just to see your sis ass. And you weren't gonna pull up anyway. You weren't gonna pull up. You pulled up and get knocked out. Bitch ass nigga, nobody running for your faggot ass. You could have came to see me. You doing all that cross country traveling. Shit, you came to see me, you'd have went right back to motherfucking uh, Philadelphia. You went your ass right back to Philly after I beat your ass. Fuck a vacation. You come down for vacation, get your ass beat, you go back home and go to the hospital, bitch. The whole family sad. I thought I whooped your motherfucking ass. Then I'm gonna tell you how you know you a real fucking pussy and a faggot crazy. You moved from New Jersey, you moved to Philly because Monty told you he wanted you to be close to him. But Monty said, I just want to be next to you. You moved to Philly. You moved to Philly to be around Monty. Make it so bad you moved to Philadelphia. Don't ask me why I'm always covering my neck. I already addressed that. It ain't none of your damn business, really. Like I said, you moved to Philly. Philly got some, Philly got some, some beautiful women. And you couldn't get nailed one while you was in Philly. <laughs> and I ain't finna get on that. I ain't finna disrespect your wife. She ain't did nothing to me, so I ain't gonna say nothing about your wife. I'm gonna keep it here. I'm gonna say it's crazy. You a bitch ass nigga. You a pussy. You a flunky. 
and you a flunky for a flunky. So that means you the under flunky, bitch. I'm gonna start calling you the under flunky. Jim ain't nothing but a motherfucking flunky. And you ain't shit but a flunky too. You the, you the under flunky. And Jimmy still wanna suck Monty's dick. And you and, and you and you him be cool, but Jimmy rocking with your enemies. Like I said, I ain't gonna keep on repeating this shit and talking to you because you stupid, Jimmy stupid, Pat stupid, Talia's fucking stupid. All y'all some stupid asses. And I, I'm not gonna keep wasting my motherfucking precious time dealing with a bunch of stupid ass sons of bitches. You a stupid son of a bitch. Jimmy a stupid son of a bitch. All y'all. Pat, stupid ass bitch. And like I say, man, you quit all that talk about how you'll beat my motherfucking ass. Crazy, I will slap the shit out of you, boy. I will slap your stupid ass to the fucking ground, bitch. I'll sleep you worse than Mike Mills got slept. Ain't, ain't there some funny shit too crazy? This whole thing started with Mike Mills cooking you because you had fucked Sandy. And then now come full circle, all y'all sucking Mike, D, Mike, Mike Mills dick out he got knocked out. AIDS bump. <laughs> yeah, I got AIDS bump. Whatever you whatever you whatever you say. Whatever you say, AIDS bump, but you from New Orleans. Everybody from New Orleans got AIDS. All y'all do is fuck sissies in New Orleans. Y'all niggas sissies and y'all fuck sissies. Man, you go to New Orleans, you have a, a, a so called you would look at a nigga think he a real ass nigga. That this nigga's a real ass nigga. Turn around this nigga around here fucking a sissy. Getting getting chumped by sissies. Get, nigga nigga getting chumped by a whole fucking tranny. Man, them niggas, niggas New Orleans fucking gay, man. Look at Birdman. Look at Lil Wayne. Look at Turk. Look at Gangsta Williams. All the niggas be doing that gay ass fucking shit. So if anybody got AIDS, it's you, nigga. <laughs> you from New Orleans. <laughs> nigga from New Orleans, Atlanta. Gang ain't got nothing but AIDS. I come to New Orleans City, y'all niggas ain't shit, bro. Y'all niggas ain't shit. All y'all, all y'all niggas, y'all niggas New Orleans but sneaky ass niggas. Y'all ain't no real motherfucking hitters. All y'all niggas gay, bro. Niggas ain't shit. I remember at a Hurricane Katrina, a lot of it's out of y'all niggas came to Mobile, thinking y'all finna run some shit, man. Man, we beat y'all motherfucking ass, made y'all leave, made y'all fucking leave. All the women came here. To, and all the New Orleans women came here to get this fucking pipe because the women realized niggas down here in Mobile got way more swag in New Orleans, and we just we just we just better men, and so we was fucking y'all women when y'all came down, and y'all had to leave, and y'all you took your bitch with you, you took your bitch with you, all oh, y'all niggas come to Mobile thinking about we'll be scared of y'all. Why from? I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do it New Orleans style. What what style is that, nigga? Y'all took y'all motherfucking ass on somewhere. Bitch ass niggas. Thought y'all gonna take over a fucking city. Y'all niggas ain't shit. They take that shit back to New Orleans. Y'all trying to come to New Orleans and say that nigga out in New Orleans trying to fight Mr. Jackson. And then make it so bad. Didn't now, uh, did, now nigga from, from New Orleans say, you know what, I, I step up. I'll be your Huckleberry. I'll be your Huckleberry. None of y'all stepped up because y'all already know the fool you fucking playing with. Bitch, you know you you playing with me, you playing with a real fucking killer, bitch. Like I say, y'all think it's a joke, bitch. I kill people for fun. I kill people, sit back and laugh about the shit. It be time I be sitting on my home bars, I ain't gonna nail. But, hey man, you remember you remember that time I had I had murked that bitch ass nigga from New Orleans? Remember I shot that motherfucker in his fucking in his fucking eye socket? Nigga brain blood the back of his head, say, yep, we sit back and laugh about that shit. We been the barbecue drinking on fucking sipping spagos. Laughing about killing motherfuckers. That's me, nigga. I, I, I kill motherfuckers for fun, sit back and laugh about this shit. We be sitting around the motherfucking yard barbecuing, reminiscing on burking people. Fuck you talking about. It. What up? What up, T.S. Long? Be reminiscing. I reminisce on the head I bust. What movie I'm quoting? What movie I'm quoting, nigga? What movie I quoting? <laughs> there ain't no movie, it's real life. It's real fucking life, nigga. <laughs> what movie? You can't even name the movie I quoted. 
But if you think I'm quoting a movie, nigga, that's all good. I don't want to have to do it to you, bro. And I'm trying to change my fucking life. I never, I promise to God, on my kid, I never saw money talk. I never saw money. And if you really want to, if you really want to be, be real, I'm going to tell you where I first heard the phrase at. I used to work at a jail house. This crazy dude. He got mad at the COs one day. I was, it was over some, some, some shit that went by nothing. He would kind of, he would kind of throw it off in the head. You would tell he had sense at one time. A lot of dudes come to jail, they lose their mind. I promise I ain't never seen that movie. I don't think I don't think it's a movie. I'm gonna tell you where I get it from. A lot of dudes come to jail, lose their mind. What happened? They play crazy, and then the doctor put them on crazy meds. The crazy meds mess their brain up, so they end up being crazy for real. So the dude got mad about some shit. I don't know. If we had we had he he had some extra he had an extra mattress in his room, and we took one on. And he was like, "Y'all niggas, y'all gonna keep fucking with me, bitch? I kill, I kill for fun, I kill for fun." And he would he was just talking shit. But I thought that was the funniest thing ever. See, people, this nigga's stupid. So ever since then, I, st I took that for myself. When them inmates be threatening me and shit, when I get out of jail, I'm, I'm going to do this to you, Smith. I'm going to get out of jail. I'm going I'm to kill you. I'm going to kill your family. I'm going to kill your mama. And I say, hey, man, I kill for fun, bitch. I kill people for fun. Fast forward, I start working on the boat. So on the boat, all we did was watch movies a lot of days. I never saw this movie Scarface. I was like 36 years old. I think about 36 years old, 35, 36, 35, I saw Scarface. And um, and I remember him saying, I kill for fun when the people came to his house to kill him. I kill for fun. I kill people for fun. And you say, I he like, I kill people, sit back and laugh at this shit. I said, oh, that's where this nigga got that from. And then there's another movie on um, Belly when they came to his house. Belly ain't nothing but a fucking knockoff of Scarface. And at the end of the movie, they went to kill that, that, uh, that, that, that black motherfucker. And he was shooting all the people up. He said, I kill for fun. I kill people for fun. That's where I got it from. So if anything, Money Talk got it from Scarface. But even though uh, you heard in the movie, I'm, I'm so serious. I kill people for fun, bro. I'm, I'm dead serious. I kill people. I kill people. And I do that shit for a hobby. I sit back and laugh at the shit, bro. No lie. No lie. I remember, I'm, I'm going to tell you another time we fucking laughed at this shit. I remember Jimmy had killed this woman. He killed. I, I, I you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to tell it. I don't give a fuck if you go to jail or not. I remember uh, Jimmy had killed this woman one time. He killed this woman because she didn't want to get no pussy. He was like calling me and shit. And this nigga, he sounded crazy as hell. And he was talking about how he killed this bitch and he broke the bitch neck and oh, it was it was it was it was fucked up. But after Jimmy told me how he murdered this woman and, and dumped her off in a motherfucking BFI dumpster, we sat back and laughed at it. We laughed at it. And they're right, Jimmy. No, it's real talk. Yeah, she she know I ain't playing because I had to threaten her one time. She was talking that stupid ass shit. And I told her right in her fucking face. I said, I kill for fun. And she looked me in the face and she knew I wasn't playing. She went and set her ass down. I thought I was gonna have to hurt that woman one day. I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna get off this thing here. Be careful who you stick your dick inside of. Cause when these women get mad, these women they, they reminisce on that dick in their stomach, that shit be feeling good to them. These women, they'll fucking kill you. They'll kill you for that dick. A man will kill you. The same way a man will kill you about that pussy, a woman will kill you for that dick. Real talk. Let me get off here before I get, get myself put, put in jail. Okay? Let me get off before I get myself put in jail. And get myself put in prison for unsolved murders and shit that I didn't do. So I don't, I don't kill for fun. I kill bugs, but I might kill like roaches and rats for fun and shit. Just to make it laugh. I don't, I don't kill people for fun. Let me let me stop playing. It's all cap. I don't I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do it. So let me um let me cut it out. All right, y'all. Let me go. I might I might have got myself in trouble. Let me go.